time I factor an expression, it's useful to look for common factors between the terms. And in these two terms, they're both divisible by two. So what I can do is take out a two in sort of a reverse distributive property, and I'm left with 4x squared minus 25. You'll see that these are the same thing, because if I multiply the 2 by the 4x squared, I get the 8x. And if I do the 2 by the 25, I get the 50. Now I want to factor the binomial, which is left, in this case, this binomial, if it's possible. And luckily, in this case, it is, because this is a difference of squares binomial. And a difference of squares binomial means that if a squared minus if something can be written as a squared minus b squared, can also be written as a plus b times a minus b. Now this can be written, this uh, binomial that I have here, can be written as uh, 2x quantity squared minus 5 squared. So it fits into the formula with my a as the 2x and my b as the 5. Therefore, I can rewrite the whole thing. I still need the 2 out front, but this part can be rewritten according to this formula. So it becomes 2x plus 5 and 2x minus 5. And I'll have a separate video to show you uh, why that works or to remind you why that works. But what I can conclude is this original equation or this original expression, I should say, is equivalent to this expression down here written in fully factored form. Thank you very much.